Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, I'm Risa, and for today's video, I have a skincare and makeup routine for you guys. Ignore my hair because it's looking a little bit greasy, but this is my final look, obviously. I've already filmed the whole video. This is the end of it. I'm going to show befores and afters. I'm going to show you my simple makeup routine for when you're feeling lazy, when you don't want to do anything, and yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what other videos you want to see, and let's go on with it. Okay, so for my makeup routine, a very important important part is my skincare obviously i like to change up my skincare a bit but i finally found something which really helps for my sensitive and dry skin so if you have sensitive and dry skin this hopefully would work for you too so i want to say a huge thank you to sand and sky for sponsoring this video i have three of their amazing products here and i'm going to be using them today in my skincare routine i've been using them for a little bit and it's really helped my skin in terms of hydration and how it feels throughout the day so i'm going to show you guys how i use them so for today i'm going to be using a mask just to really help my skin look the best it's kind of going to be like a little self-care here i have this tasmanian spring water face mask from sand and sky here's the packaging it's super cute and you basically just apply it on your face like a normal face mask leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then rinse it off so that's what i'm going to be doing obviously this is not in my everyday skincare routine this is just something that i do once a week once a month so here's what it looks like and it's an intense hydrating mask so if if you have dry skin this mask is definitely for you and i have very dry skin so this is why i love these products you also get this little mask applicator i don't know what it's called but it's super cute i've never had one of these so i'm so happy to have one now and this is what the actual container looks like and then this is the actual mask so i'm gonna pin back my hair and apply it all over my face so you take a very generous scoop and you just apply it everywhere It's very cooling as well, like, I don't know, it already feels refreshing, even though I've only just put it on. I'm using my camera as a mirror, which is why I can't really see that well, but just trying to apply it everywhere on the skin. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for around 15 minutes, and then I'll get back to you guys after I've rinsed it off. Okay, so it's been around 10 minutes and I didn't wait to 15 minutes because, because I'm lazy. So we're just going to wash it off now, but I wanted to show you guys what it kind of looks like. So yeah, I'm going to go rinse it off quickly, come back, and then we're going to move on with the skincare. Okay, I'm back. And instead of just drying my face with the towel, I kind of just dab it so that it doesn't become too dry or tight. And unlike a lot of masks on my skin, this mask actually feels super buttery, especially when you're washing it off. So my skin still feels super soft and it doesn't feel tight like most masks make it feel so if that's the case with you as well this mask would definitely work it's also really great for sensitive skin which i have so yeah okay now we're going to be moving on still in the tasmanian spring collection but this is the splash serum so this splash serum is really good for dry skin as well because it strengthens the skin barrier which means that all your hydration is kind of locked into your skin for the whole day this is what the little bottle looks like and i think it's so cute i've never really had a serum like this so this is just so cute i use it every morning and every night this is like a regular part of my skincare routine it says here that it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and dryness for more youthful looking skin and has two different types of hyaluronic acid which helps replenish the skin with moisture basically the way you use it is you put four drops i like to put the four drops in my hand because it's just easier so sometimes i put more than four drops because that way it fills my whole face so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> and then i just kind of rub it in my hands like this and just apply it all over my skin it's super lightweight and just like the mask as soon as you put it on it's really cooling so i really love that as you can tell it's already adding lots of moisture to my face so this is what my skin looks like now i'm gonna go by the window so that you can see it a bit better so as you can tell it's already super hydrating and i haven't even used the moisturizer yet and it doesn't make my skin feel heavy or like it has lots of product on it's super lightweight so now the next thing which i'm going to be using is kind of the final step with the tasmanian spring water collection and that is the Tasmanian Spring Water Hydration Boost Cream. So this is the moisturizer. And this is also specifically for hydrating skin. All this collection is really good for sensitive and dry skin because it locks in your moisture and it's very natural as well. So it's really good for sensitive skin. So this is what it looks like. It's super cool. 
so this is also long lasting moisturizer so the whole day your skin is going to be looking fresh and then when you put it on in the night your skin is going to be nice and moisturized which really helps overall your skin's hydration and just feeling good in your skin it also has sea kelp which helps reduce the water loss in your skin so that your face is nice and hydrated and i also use this one every night and every morning so if i open it and show you guys what it kind of looks like here is the inside of it it's kind of like jelly it's really cool so i also got this cooling skincare applicator i've never used one of these before so don't hate me if i'm using it wrong but i'm pretty sure that you kind of do it like that when you have the moisturizer on it obviously but even if i am using it wrong this is very cooling on your skin it's got zinc so it feels really nice before we use this i'm just going to put a bit of this on my hand and just kind of put it all over my face there we go so now i'm kind of gonna rub in most of it with my hands and then with the skincare applicator i usually do that under my eyes because it just feels really nice and i just kind of use it as a massager but i'm guessing that you can use it <laughs> to actually apply the skincare and then as you can see i'm bringing this down to my neck i did use a bit more than i usually use i just make sure that it's spread out evenly all throughout my face and my neck and as you can see this is really hydrating for your skin i'll show it in front of the window in a little bit so that you can really see how it helps hydrate your skin and how it makes you look more radiant and then for this i'm going to use it kind of as a massage and this is really cooling for your skin so it just feels really nice it kind of feels like one of those ice rollers that some people get Okay, so now that I've used all this product, I'm going to show you guys the final result. I realized that I didn't really show the before in the same clip, but I'm going to make sure that I show a picture of it, of the before and after, because my skin always looks tired, dull, and in the morning it just feels really tight. But this moisturizer, I'm not even just saying this, it has really helped my skin feel hydrated, and throughout the whole day it feels hydrated, and as you can see, it just makes a huge difference. So I'll show you guys now in front of the window. If you see the before, which I'm gonna put here, and then my skin afterwards, it's a huge difference. I also took these two photos in the span of 10 minutes, and the first one is the before, and the second one is the after. And I tried to capture the same light and go in the same position to show you guys the difference that the skincare makes. So now, when I'm putting on my makeup and things like that, I don't need to worry about, is my skin gonna look cakey, or is it gonna look tired and dull? So next, we're not done with my skincare routine yet, because we need to use sunscreen. I tell myself that I use it every single day but i don't and i should um but i'm nearly run out of this one anyways this is just a kind of regular one 50 spf because i'm very pale as you can tell yeah it's from garnier i don't know how to say that but this is the sunscreen that i use it's just a regular one um and i try to use it every day but especially now that it's summer sometimes in the winter i just don't bother because it feels like i don't need to use it this one does leave a bit of a white i don't know how to say it like a white mask over your face i don't know it's just kind of the first sunscreen which i picked up in the pharmacy so there we go that's my sunscreen on okay so the last part of my skincare routine is just some vaseline on my lips because as well as my skin my lips are very dry and they get cracked a lot i accidentally took this to the beach and sand got in it so i don't know if that's ever happened to you but it makes the tin really hard to open so it's gonna take me a couple minutes Nearly. there we go got it open so i just put vaseline on my lips i know that some people put it like all over their face but there we go just simple vaseline i also just wanted to say quickly that if i'm not using a mask i usually use this simple refreshing face wash and the simple brand is really good also for sensitive and dry skin everyone's skin is different just make sure you find what's good for you but yeah that's it for my skincare and now we're gonna move on to my makeup i don't use makeup every day but when i'm going out or going to school i usually do wear makeup so this is kind of just what's worked for me and i use minimal makeup so if you want like a full face routine this is not that this is how to look good on your lazy days on the days where you don't want to do lots of work so i also don't really know where a lot of these things are from so that's gonna be kind of a problem but it's fine i don't have a mirror so i feel like this is gonna be kind of hard as you can see i'm in a different setting to my usual setting i'm actually traveling so right now i'm in holland and i'm in the house that like my parents own but rent out but anyways yeah i've kind of just been traveling around europe so okay i know where i got this but i forgot the name so i'm gonna put it down below 
but this is just the concealer i use i'm actually thinking about getting a different shade this one i think is just too pale for my skin it might just be that it's summer but a little too pale for my skin oh i did not know this but it has caffeine in it apparently so it's vegan cruelty free so i like that about it and yeah it's just liquid concealer and i'm gonna be using this blush at the same time this is like kind of a liquid blush it's like a stick it's like this kind of like a glue stick i use these at the same time and then with my beauty blender i blend them out at the same time this is from the same place there's no writing on it i think it all like scratched off anyways so i'm gonna start with the blush and we're just gonna be putting a little bit of blush on my cheekbones to kind of lift my face i used to do kind of that sunburnt look on my nose but i'm not sure if it really works with my face anymore recently when i've tried it i just don't really like how it looks so i put blush now like here so that it really lifts my face upwards and then we're obviously going to be using this concealer i use minimal concealer sometimes i use too much and it just looks so bad i think i'm gonna move the camera just so that i can see better so usually what i do is put some on the inner corner and then on the outer corner i kind of lift it up and that is all I do. As you can tell, I'm breaking out a little bit. Sometimes I put it on my forehead and my nose, but right now I'm not going to be doing that. So yeah, and as you can see, the moisturizer has really highlighted my nose. So I don't really need concealer there. That's the only concealer I'm going to be using. All right, this is my handy dandy beauty blender. It's not even that old, but it looks really old. I'm going to dampen this. Okay, so we're just going to be blending this like normal i don't really know how much i have to explain i've never done a video like this so i just blend upwards because i really like that like facelift kind of look and then i blend in the blush and it's really subtle as you can tell but it just lifts my face like you can already tell and i'm gonna be doing it this side as well obviously i don't know why i'm explaining all of this but yeah yeah i don't really know what to say so i'm just gonna talk about about my holidays i go back to school later than most people so i still have like summer content in mind and everyone's already doing back to school stuff which is kind of freaking me out because i'm like i'm not i'm not ready for school i go back in like three weeks i think american schools go back a bit earlier so but i'm still on holiday i'm obviously in holland as i said and i went to belgium for one day just like a stop in between going from france to holland if you follow me on instagram which is down below by the way you would know that i went to paris first which is really nice we used to live there so it was nice to just see our old apartment and also obviously all the touristy things and then we road tripped from Paris and arrived here. This place is kind of like my home away from home. It's very comforting to be back here. We're kind of on a relaxed holiday now because Paris was a bit stressful. We were doing a lot of stuff. So yeah. Okay, this is the eyeliner. This is from Wet n Wild, I think. I'll double check. It's very like broken. Like you can see the cap. My dog basically ate it. So that's why it's very like broken. Um, And then I don't have a sharpener since I'm on holiday. <laughs> so but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work sometimes i use brown eyeshadow because if i want like a more natural look but today we're just gonna be doing kind of a smudged look but it's gonna be only in the outer corners and it just makes my eyes look bigger but yeah i'm just gonna put a little bit this is gonna be hard since i don't have a mirror i'm gonna be pulling my eyes so if people don't like that skip ahead a little bit i'm just gonna be putting it in the corner obviously everyone already knows that everyone looks really weird doing makeup so just ignore how my face looks right now there we go so as you can see i just do like a little bit like that i don't really do a huge wing because i don't know how to do that i don't know how i'm speaking right now that's kind of impressive i kind of do the waterline to the middle of my eye as you can see it's really subtle but it just makes my eye look a bit a bit bigger my eyes like eyelids are a bit uneven so i'm gonna try and make this little tiny wing the same as that one but it's probably gonna fail it looks different but it's fine okay so my eyes look kind of different right now this one i feel like it looks darker it's okay usually i do a bit less eyeliner but also usually i have a mirror so it's easier to see okay change the angle a little bit so you can see my face better finally we're gonna be curling my lashes i'm currently sitting on the floor if you couldn't tell already so that's why my shoulders look a little bit weird right now also why did half of my eyelashes just fall off there we go it works pretty well i don't get how people do their bottom lashes it doesn't make any sense to me so we're not going to be doing that this is my mascara pretty sure it's also from wet and wild i literally don't know where this is from honestly there are definitely better mascaras than this i did not have a lot of money at that time so i just kind of bought what was cheap i just blink do this i i didn't know that people had like different techniques of doing the eyelashes there we go that's one side this side isn't done so that's the difference i think it makes a bigger difference off camera 
I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I want to learn, but this is my entire makeup look for my lazy days, the days I don't really want to do anything. Basically, my everyday makeup look. So I just needed a creative title. So hopefully you watched the end. If you did, comment this emoji. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you want, especially since everyone's going back to school now. I did not really know that. I had a bunch of summer content planned. Let me know if you still want summer content. If you want some back to school content, I can pretend I'm going back to school earlier. Barbie edits, I'm getting on that. If you don't subscribe to me, that might sound very random, but yes, I do Barbie edits as well. So I don't really know how to do an outro. So as you can tell, my skin is still super refreshed. Thank you so much for Santa Sky for sponsoring today's video. These products are really amazing. I love the Tasmanian Spring Collection. And Santa Sky have lots more collections for different types of skin, different types of problems with your skin. So definitely go check them out.